Hi guys, so today we're going to be we're going to be doing an oil and filter change. We're gonna we've already run the tractor, so the oils is the oil is nice and hot, and we're going to take the sump plug out the bottom. Having the oil nice and hot makes it be able to come out come off of the tractor easier. And this should run out. Long screw. Move it up. I move it up. That's it. So yeah, the oil's warm, so that's why it's coming out so easily. So just let it drain. Just let it drain out. So now we're going to take the oil filter out of its housing. I'm going to unscrew this on the top, and as you can see, the oil's already starting to run out. The oil looks exactly the same, and it should be a golden colour, not this kind of black. I'm going to take it down there. And put it out like that. So now we've cleaned up the oil filter housing. We used a bit of petrol on that, and we're going to be, we're going to put the head back on to the um, what's it called onto the gasket. We've put a bit of oil on there, so it'll fit nice and snug, and we'll fit it in there like that. I've got the nuts and the washers, and I'll hand tighten them. Hi guys, welcome back. We've just put an oil filter gasket on here and we use this blue oil um, gasket sealer on. Also, under here, we've cleaned, we've drained all of the oil out and this is the oil sump filter and it was really clogged up. I'll show you how we've, how we've used it. We've used the air blower and now it's really clean inside. This is the gasket that we're going to fit, and it's going to fit up there, just like this. It has to be flat, so it provides a nice seal. Like that. Now, we will refit this onto the top, and I'll see you in a minute when we finish. Okay, so guys, we've just finished putting the oil sump strainer and the oil sump plug underneath. And we have this new part. It's the new oil filter. We've already f we've already put the rubber gasket and we've smeared it with oil. This is the new part. I'm going to smear this part with oil so it gives it a nice fit. We've already filled up a jug of oil, ready to go back into the engine. Okay. So now we're going to fit it back into there. And we've found out that the easiest way to put it in is from underneath. Like this. I'm going to tighten this screw on the top, which will give it a nice fit. Tighten that. Tighten it.
We're gonna get. We've just got some new spanners, and I'm gonna get the right spanner. One bigger. This one. This has to be tight or else oil will leak out. And that won't be very good. So now, now it's nice and tight, we're going to refill the engine with oil. I'm going to screw this lid back on so not oil can um, run out when I'm filling. We're filling it with this multi-farm oil and we found out that it's really good. So now, I'm going to start filling it. And I'll see you guys when we've finished. Okay, so now guys, we took the pre-air filter off and it was really gunked up. This isn't going to hurt the engine because we're going to run it without it on. It's not going to hurt the engine. We've filled it up with oil and now it's all full. We've had this exhaust made by Myriad Exhaust in Warsaw and they're our, they're our friends. So now I'm going to start it and there's a video on my channel of how to start this. We've already primed it so it should be okay. Thank you for watching this video, like and subscribe, link into the description where you can find the exhaust people. Thank you, like and subscribe, see you on the next one, bye.